fair like my Patreon's still fairly low. It's still ridiculously higher than I had expected it to be. Like if we look at it, fifteen patrons, one hundred and twenty one dollars a month, which is crazy. I I don't know where you guys came from. I sincerely appreciate it. One of the guys who recently joined at a four dollar tier, he was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like raise it up to thirty two dollars. It's like, all right then. I don't know how long he's going to keep it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I never understand why someone would want to pay $32 a month for free content that they can, you know, just watch on my channel anyway. I very much appreciate it, but I, I don't understand, you know, why why anyone actually does that. If someone who actually does do it, I, I don't know. I think, yeah, yo, can you watch the, the podcast? If you get to this point, tell me why you actually donate $32 a month. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I don't understand. Like, that's double what a Netflix subscription is. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that the content I put out is worth that much. Obviously, I do like the content mainly that I put out. I have a lot of criticisms of it, but that's mainly just because I have to watch it for, like, an hour and a half when I edit it and, like, an hour when I'm recording it. And I'm, I'm sick of hearing my voice by the end of it. So, for me, I find it to be really annoying and there are things that I noticed I can work on, like the audio quality, which probably going to be improved by a better mic. Obviously, the video quality, I'm using a Logitech webcam, but that can be massively improved by getting, you know, a, either a mirrorless or a, a DSLR. I'll probably go mirrorless just because they're cheaper. Um, and any, honestly, anything will be a bit of an upgrade from what I have now. So it's not like I need some crazy camera to... Like, I'm not... I, I don't get why some channels go and get like red cameras, like $10,000 cameras just to make YouTube videos. Sure, there's going to be an upgrade there, but the the return on investment for that camera isn't really going to be worth it. At least that's what I think. But for my style of content, getting some sort of decent mirrorless camera or an entry-level DSLR is probably going to be as good as I really need to go. And that's probably going to be the, the point that I stop at with my video quality. Maybe one day I'll get something better. But I think doing the audio is probably going to be more important. 